Have you ever gazed up at the star-filled sky and wondered, are we alone in the universe? This is the million-dollar question, the grand mystery that has captivated human curiosity for centuries. Our universe is a vast expanse, almost unfathomable in its immensity. It stretches over a staggering 93 billion light-years, housing countless galaxies. Each galaxy in turn holds a myriad of stars and around these stars, planets orbit. Now consider this, there are estimated to be over 100 billion galaxies in the observable universe. Imagine the sheer number of planets that could be out there. Each one of these celestial bodies could potentially be a cradle for life, just like our Earth. It's a breathtaking thought, isn't it? With such astronomical odds it seems almost improbable that Earth would be the sole oasis of life in this cosmic desert. Enter the Drake Equation. This is a mathematical formula, devised by the astrophysicist Frank Drake in the early 60s, which attempts to estimate the number of civilizations in our galaxy with which we could potentially communicate. The equation considers factors such as the rate of star formation, the fraction of those stars with planetary systems, and the number of planets that could potentially support life. The Drake equation, however, is not without its critics. Some argue that it is overly optimistic, while others believe it's too pessimistic. It's a topic of heated debate among scientists and space enthusiasts alike. But regardless of where you stand on this equation, one fact remains undisputed. The universe is vast and we've barely begun to explore its depths. So, let's dive into the vast cosmos and embark on a journey to uncover the truth about extraterrestrial life. Come along as we delve into the search for life beyond our planet, venture outside our solar system, explore the science of life's existence, and look to the future of this fascinating quest. Let's set sail on this cosmic voyage together and who knows, we might just find the answer to that million dollar question. Our quest for alien life begins right in our cosmic backyard, our solar system. This realm of planets, moons, and asteroids orbiting our sun is not just a collection of celestial bodies, but a field of potential homes for extraterrestrial life. In our pursuit of the unknown we've launched numerous missions each one a beacon of human curiosity, seeking signs of life beyond Earth. One of the most well-known is the Mars rover missions. These robotic explorers named Spirit, Opportunity, Curiosity and most recently Perseverance have been our eyes and ears on the Red Planet. They've been studying the Martian surface, looking for signs of past or present life and the presence of water, a vital ingredient for life as we know it. But Mars isn't the only place we're looking. The moons of Jupiter and Saturn, despite their icy exteriors, are fascinating targets in the search for extraterrestrial life. Beneath the ice of Europa and Enceladus lie vast, salty oceans. These hidden seas could potentially harbor life, sparking the interest and imagination of scientists and space enthusiasts alike. Even the scorching, sulfuric atmosphere of Venus, once deemed too harsh for life, is under scrutiny. Recent discoveries of phosphine, a gas typically associated with life on Earth, have sparked renewed interest in our sister planet. Water, in all its forms, is the common thread in our search for life. It's the universal solvent, the cradle of life on Earth and perhaps, elsewhere in the cosmos. From the icy moons to the dry valleys of Mars, wherever we find water, we find the potential for life. But let's not forget, our solar system is but a tiny speck in the grand tapestry of the universe. There are billions of stars, each with their potential planets, moons and even life. The search in our solar system is just the beginning. The universe is a vast place and our journey continues further. As we venture beyond the confines of our solar system, the possibilities grow exponentially. Imagine for a moment a universe teeming with countless stars, each potentially hosting its own family of planets. These celestial bodies, known as exoplanets, are planets that orbit stars outside our own solar system. Since the first confirmed detection in the early 90s, we've discovered over 4,000 of these mysterious worlds, each one offering a new perspective on the cosmos. Among these discoveries, a mission named Kepler stands out. Launched by NASA in 2009, the Kepler mission was specifically designed to seek out Earth-like planets in the habitable zones of their stars. The habitable zone, or as it's sometimes affectionately called the Goldilocks zone, is that just right distance from a star where conditions could allow for liquid water, a crucial ingredient for life as we know it, to exist on a planet's surface. Kepler has been wildly successful identifying more than 2,000 confirmed exoplanets during its nine-year mission. Among these, a handful are tantalizingly Earth-like and located in the Goldilocks zone of their stars. These worlds, these potential cradles of alien life, are the focus of our curiosity and our hope. 
The Kepler 442b for instance is a promising candidate. It's about one-third larger than Earth and orbits its star in the habitable zone. Then there's Kepler 62f, a super-Earth-sized planet also located in the habitable zone of its star. These are just two examples among a growing list of potential homes for extraterrestrial life. But remember, we've only just begun to explore the vast cosmic ocean that lies beyond our solar system. What we know is dwarfed by what we have yet to discover. Our journey into the cosmos is like dipping a toe into the ocean. Each new exoplanet we discover, each potential Goldilocks zone we find, is but a ripple in the cosmic sea. The discoveries we've made so far are just the tip of the iceberg. Our journey is far from over. What does it mean to be alive? And how might life appear on other worlds? These questions have captivated humanity for centuries, and as we delve deeper into the cosmos, we inch closer to the answers. When we consider what alien life might look like, we must consider the conditions on other planets. Life, as we know it on Earth, requires a delicate balance of conditions. But, what if life elsewhere doesn't play by the same rules? What if it thrives in a completely different environment? This brings us to the fascinating world of extremophiles, organisms that inhabit Earth's most inhospitable corners. From the scalding hydrothermal vents deep beneath the ocean where temperatures can exceed 200 degrees Fahrenheit, to the icy sun-deprived depths of Antarctica's Lake Vostok, these hardy creatures defy the odds, thriving where other life forms would perish. Take the tardigrade for instance, a microscopic creature capable of surviving the vacuum of space, extreme radiation, and temperatures as low as minus 458 degrees Fahrenheit. Or, the extremophile bacteria discovered in the acidic, arsenic-laden waters of Mono Lake in California, suggesting that life could potentially exist on planets with similarly harsh conditions. These extremophiles provide scientists with a blueprint of how life could adapt to survive under different planetary conditions. If life can thrive in Earth's extreme environments why couldn't it exist on a planet with high radiation levels, or in the sub-zero temperatures of a distant moon? Astrobiologists are using this knowledge to guide their search for extraterrestrial life, looking for planets and moons with conditions that might support these hardy organisms. So, while alien life might not resemble the green antenna-sporting creatures of popular culture, it could very well mirror the diverse, resilient forms of life we see on our own planet. Life as it appears is resilient and adaptable. It's not a far-fetched idea that it could exist elsewhere in the universe. The vast cosmos is teeming with possibilities and the search for extraterrestrial life continues to fuel our collective curiosity and imagination. Our journey to find extraterrestrial life is far from over. As we look ahead, we can see a future teeming with exciting missions and technologies that promise to propel our search for alien life into new frontiers. One such mission is the launch of the James Webb Space Telescope, NASA's upcoming infrared observatory, a veritable titan of space exploration that is set to take to the skies in the not-too-distant future. This marvel of modern technology is equipped with a primary mirror almost three times the size of the one on the Hubble Space Telescope. With such an upgrade, the James Webb Space Telescope will be able to peer deeper into the universe than ever before, enabling us to study exoplanets, planets that orbit stars outside our solar system, in unprecedented detail. But what does this mean for our search for extraterrestrial life? Well, by observing these exoplanets, we can analyze their atmospheres. We can look for signs of gases that might indicate the presence of life such as oxygen or methane. The James Webb Space Telescope's powerful instruments will allow us to do this with greater sensitivity and precision than any telescope before it. Beyond the James Webb Space Telescope, the future holds an array of other missions and technologies that will aid in our search. From advanced rovers exploring the Martian surface for signs of past or present life, to space probes venturing further into our solar system, each new endeavor brings us one step closer to potentially finding life beyond our planet. And while the road ahead is long and filled with many unknowns, we must remember that every great discovery begins with a single step. Every question asked, every mission launched, every planet studied, brings us closer to answering the ultimate cosmic question. As we continue our cosmic journey, one thing is certain, we're closer now than ever before to answering the question, are we alone in the universe?